William Zabka does this, dude. Oh my god. He, so funny. He goes, Z <laughs> Dude, I had to say so. I was like, I was like, dude, did you just karate kick the urinal? <laughs> and he goes, Hell yeah, man. It's better than touching it. What the <laughs> Cobra Kai kidding. Bonsai, I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and today I am joined by Joe Suarez, who is one of the Cobra Kai students in Season 5 of Cobra Kai. So, how are you doing today, Joe? I'm doing awesome. Doing awesome, Drew. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm so excited to share my experience uh, of uh, filming Season 5 and becoming a, a Cobra Kai. It's, it's absolutely surreal. Yeah, thank you once again so much for coming on. We've been talking for quite some time about doing this interview and i know you've told me that you have a lot to share i'm excited to get into it and really um explore your experience uh on this amazing show thank you thank you yeah it, it's truly truly an amazing show um I, i'm so blessed you know like uh i i and i i Definitely let everybody know that once uh, once we started getting really in the mix of things, uh, I um, I let them know how special of an opportunity I knew that this was, and and um, and um, you know, uh, so yeah, I'm excited to, to share with you how it all happened. Yeah, and and I, I know we spoke a little bit before the interview, but like I just want to for everyone out there watching, look at the Cobra Kai swag that Joe is repping. Not Let's only does go. he have the background, he has the shirt and wait, where'd Look you get that? The, the ring, the ring, like, and, and the, you got to show them the cup too. Oh, oh, this is, this is, this is like my favorite cup in my house. It, it's so great. If you see it, it says Joe San, um, Craig, <laughs> uh, who's been on since season one, he, um, he plays Dieter, uh, and he, got all these for the Cobras and some of the, you know, like uh, some of the crew as well um, as just like a wrap gift, a holiday. We wrapped on December 20th, the Atlanta unit. So, um, so basically it was like, you know, kind of everything was Christmas vibes at the end. And um, you know, we were getting our like little wrap gifts and stuff. So Craig, uh, man, he's the man and he got me this and it's, it's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite though. <laughs> Stay hydrated. <laughs> that is so cool like I, I i just i love i mean seeing all this cobra kai stuff is just oh god it, it it's great i love how the effort you put into like making like going all out like i think terry silver would be very proud <laughs> i i just want to do him honor you know and uh it, yeah i straight up he is he is a great sensei he was <laughs> super intimidating and um but um yeah thomas ian griffith he uh he, he's he's the man he really is such a gentleman such a professional and like um he's really about his craft uh he's a really um serious martial artist you know he would come in uh you know probably like 40 minutes before 30 minutes before he would have to you know uh film so he can go on the mat and stretch and he's He's doing like a deeper butterfly than I can. <laughs> I swear, he's doing a deeper butterfly stretch than I can. And I'm like, my God, this guy, I got to get like him when I grow up. <laughs> he is incredible. He's actually incredible. Absolutely. Yeah, he's, he, um, he, he put on an incredible performance. And uh, um, yeah, it was such a surreal experience. So um, uh, yeah, do you, do you want to dive into to how like how I got into like the film industry or, or, or yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I, I, I want to, I want to get into all of that. Um, first I do want to let everyone know that throughout this interview, we are going to be raising money for St. Jude children's hospital, which is an organization that you chose Joe. So do you want to talk to everyone about like what it is and um, why you chose to support it today? 
Um, the reason why I chose St. Jude Hospital is because um, specifically deals with um, childhood cancer. Um, my late father, when I was 13, he had gotten cancer and uh, he was a doctor himself. So um, just seeing how fragile that was on an adult, um, it's, it, it just really is heartfelt when I see, you know, um, you know, uh, things happen like that to, to, to you know, a child um, who hasn't even had a lived experience totally yet. So it's just it's really um, um, a beautiful cause that they're able to, um, you know, help these children and um, and, and help their families um, is because, uh, you know, it is, it is such a huge tragedy um, on a personal level. Um, you know, I can relate to that. So um, that's why I decided I wanted to choose uh, St. Jude um, it's Hospital. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's a great organization. They do a lot of great things. And I'm really glad that you chose it. I uh, was able to support them in a couple of my videos and projects here on the channel. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy to be supporting them today. And if anybody out there wants to help support, you can donate to the cause by clicking the big blue donate button down below um, and help support in whatever way you can. Yeah, somewhere down there, somewhere <laughs> below the video. And yeah, so thank you guys so much. And yeah, now I definitely want to talk to you about how did this all begin? How did you become an actor and um, what launched this uh, – this path for you so um it's it's really funny man uh how like it all happened because um again you know to tell you i was such a huge fan of the show um how i began even watching the show um it, it, so basically i i used to work at nike uh and i'm from miami florida so i worked uh just like aj just like aj we, yeah. we plan on meeting up down there back <laughs> home for the holidays but it hasn't happened yet but um, but yeah, I'm from, I'm from Miami, Florida. Um, and I was working at Nike and, um, you know, it's like all these people in my life just started kind of bringing up Cobra Kai. What, like it was, um, you know, once it got on Netflix, you know, um, like, it's like a couple of guys at work were like, yo, Joe, um, you gotta watch, you know, you gotta watch Cobra Kai. Like you would love it, man. You would love it. You're the kind of guy that would love <laughs> Cobra Kai, you would love Johnny, you know? And I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I was a huge fan of the uh, of the Karate Kid. Um, like I studied abroad at one point in my life. So I actually rediscovered um, a bunch of 80s movies um, during that time that I had like seen when I was a kid, but like, and now as an adult lens, I, uh, I can kind of understand and navigate more personally. And uh, so like, I was studying abroad, you know, Danielson was like fish out of water from Jersey to like California. And so I, I, I kind of related with that, but there was just always something so, um, uh, what's the word, um, seducing about Cobra Kai, you know, is there's something so just luring. It's just, it was so cool. Like the, you know, like their gear, their bikes, their jackets, you know, like I was like, man, if I had a chance, I'd be on Cobra Kai, you know, like, and so like, um, so eventually, you know, I, flash forward, you know, all these years, and they bring it back. And I, you know, I heard it was on YouTube Red, but once they got it on Netflix, that's when everyone started really talking about it. And um, um, so I, um, I, I, I was like, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I'll check it out sometime. And then like, I go over another friend's house to hang out and he's talking about it. And I was like, dude, you, you, you watch Cobra Kai. And he's like, dude, it's a good show. You got to give it a chance, man. Just watch the first episode. Just watch the first episode. Right. And I was like, all right. And I went home that night and my dad, um, he was watching TV in the living room and I was like, dad, you watching Cobra Kai? Oh like, my God. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching Cobra Kai. Yeah, you do. You like the Karate Kid. You would love this. You got to watch it. And I'm like, all right, that's it. That's okay. It. That's now you I'm have doing. to watch it. <laughs> that's what I'm doing tonight. I like this. Is so many messages. Like, all right, I'm just going to watch it. I'm going to watch the first episode. And I was just like hooked. It was like, you know, I, I probably watched the first four episodes. And I was like, all right, I, I got to go to sleep for work yeah. tomorrow. Um, so that's how I started watching it. And it was really funny because... The dudes, 
that would watch Cobra Kai that worked with me at Nike, um, we uh, we called ourselves the Nike Cobra Kai, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and we would we would all do Miguel and Hawk's handshake. <laughs> I swear. And like um what like one of my best friends that like he got me into it, you know, the one, the main one that was like, dude, you gotta see it, Joe. Um, what's it called? Um he he uh he was like um I, I, I was like, dude, I'm going to be Johnny for Halloween this year. And when I went to go to like uh, the, the um, like the, that Halloween store, you know, like uh, what's, what's the famous Halloween store? Uh, Party City? Uh, it's, it's like Halloween. Ha- oh, Halloween. Um, oh my God. Wait, I, I can't don't... believe I'm drawing. Halloween. It. It's in all the memes. Halloween. What is it called? Oh uh, man. How not, not how Halloween Halloween Spirit Halloween Spirit Hall- Spirit Halloween is yeah. that what it is? So I went to Spirit Halloween and like you know I got some bandanas, some Cobra Kai <laughs> bandanas, and I saw like you know there was an extra one, so I got it and like uh, um, I you know we went to work the next day and I was like, hey, uh, Cobra Kai never dies, man, <laughs> and he's like, dude, no way, and so like. <laughs> uh like you know like we, we we get off our shift and we throw it throw them on and stuff and like uh so um you know that was a fun gig working at nike and like ultimately um i like uh you know it just ran its course you know it's ran its course uh working retail um you know honestly um uh, everything happens for a reason, you know, everything really does happen for a reason. And so like, I, you know, um, I was let go, I was let go, you know, it's everything was good. It just the schedule wasn't working out, you know, like, um, and over the course of like six years working for the company, like, um, it's just like, you know, strike after strike. And honestly, um, um, I had felt like it was probably time to go um, as what I used to do, I, I used to do celebrity personal sh- shopping and styling. So like a Nike athlete would walk in and then, you know, uh, I'd have looked at their Instagram before, picked out a bunch of stuff for them to, you know, be outfitted in, you know, whether it's training and lifestyle, you know, exclusive shoes and just deck out a whole um, uh, fitting room for them and take them through wow. their shopping experience. And then as well as I would work with, you know, the Miami Heat for different events and all that. So once kind of COVID happened, with the social distancing, there just wasn't an opportunity to navigate in the same way that I was. And uh, at that point, I also got like, you know, um, like I had been grandfathered into like lifetime employee discount. So it also was a good opportunity for, you know, you know, you know, maybe do something else. So um, that that time came uh, basically, you know, uh, it was just the tardiness thing and like uh it just caught up. And then I was like, all right, well, I always had a family friend saying, when are you going to, um, when are you going to, sorry, um, what's it called? When are you going to, um, um, sell my cars? You know, he's like, uh, he's like, when are you going to sell my cars, Joe? Um, like, uh, you know, Nike's cool. Don't you want to make like a lot of money, you know? And I was like, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I'm doing my thing with like, you know, like different organizations and stuff. And he's like, yeah, yeah. But you know how many might like Nikes you can buy with like a lot of money. And I was <laughs> like, all right. You know, so eventually the time came and I was like, okay, um, I want to sell your cars. And he's like, great. Uh, why don't you take like, you know, like a month and a half or so to just kind of decompress and um, like, you know, you've been working for retail for six years. Why don't you just, you know get, you know, all your ducks in a row. And then once, you know, a month, you know, so goes by, you know, like we'll start the the application process and get you right in there. So like, um, during that month, I kind of was like, okay, my back's against the wall life right now, you know, like, um, I had been saving to try to like move out at home and now I don't have a job. So, um, like, you know, I kind of just need to focus on like and prioritize what's really important at this like kind of sensitive moment in my life, um, you know. Um, so 
I took a look at who I was hanging out with and I was like, you know what? Like I made some really cool friends at Nike and like, not, not just like, you know, my peers that I worked with, but like, you know, some of the celebrities that I got to take care of, um, ended up becoming my, like my real good friends and some of my best friends in life now. Um, and I'm very thankful for that. And so I just kind of was like, you know what, I'm going to just navigate in these small circles. It was, um, my, my one friend, um, his name's Zion Wright. He's a professional skateboarder. He's on Team USA. So like, you know, wow. at the top of his game and like another friend of mine, she's like, I think she's like top 10 uh, like world's women's tennis. Her name's Bianca Andrescu. Uh, she's a Canadian um, uh, US, uh, Team Canada player as well. Um, and, uh, you know, she's navigating at the top of her game, you know, uh, doing meditation, breathing exercises, you know, um, in combination with her training. And it's not just like uh, one avenue, like, oh, we just got to train all the time. But like, she's also training her mind. So I'm like, you know, um, and then like, also one of my uh, good, good friends. Um, he's a pop singer, Austin Mahone, you know? You know, uh, you know? Yeah, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, he, he's, he's awesome. And like, so I just kind of navigated in these small circles. And I was like, you know, if I hang out with these um, individuals that are really, you know, taking life by the horns and like living it their way and, and like excelling in their careers, um, like where will my mind be in six months or like, you know, like, or even two weeks after hanging out with um, just like just them and like uh, and just focusing on myself. Um, so on a day to day, I'd wake up, go skate, skating, hit the gym, come back home, swim and just like kind of like um, chase the carrot without there being a carrot, you know, mm -hmm. and just trying to like um, live my best self. And prior to me being um, leaving Nike, you know, like uh, being let go, I actually um I was actually got an idea in my head. I was like, dude, I've been dressing up like Stranger Things, you know, from Netflix for like the past three Halloweens. And uh, man, you know what? Extra Stranger Things. And I found this um, casting agency. The lady happened to be the, like the, the, the lady who owns it, Heather. She happens to be from Miami. So I just reached out on Instagram. I was like, hey, uh, I don't need to be on Stranger Things. Uh, look at Miami brother up, you know, a bunch of palm tree emojis. And she came back to me like a month later and she was like, dude, I'll totally use you. Um, oh my God. Don't cut your hair. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so, you know, you know, months had gone by. Now it's March. That was like in October. Um, and then I started seeing all these postings for all these, you know, uh, different Netflix shows. One was Stranger Things. The other one was Netflix TBA. And so um, they, uh, you know, I started just submitting all this stuff, all this stuff all the time. And like, I wasn't getting anything. And then, um, you know, eventually I was just like, you know what, I have family in Atlanta. I'm going to stop saying I'm from Miami. I'm from Atlanta, you know, and if they, mm. you know, if they, if they ask me to come by, I'll come by, you know, like, yeah. uh, and so like, that's what ended up happening. I was actually, at, um, you know, Austin Mahone's house. And I was like, um, I'm big in like, you know, speaking things to the universe and like trying to, you know, manifest things. Um, like, uh, and so I was like, hold up, I'm gonna, I have to apply for something. And uh, that I'm just, that was the moment where I was like, I'm gonna say I'm from Atlanta, you know, like, um, and so they, you know, a couple of days go by, I don't hear from anything back. And then on my birthday, I'm like at um, this skate park, lot 11. And I get a, you know, I was just like recording myself, uh, you know, skate like this pool. And like, uh, I get, you check my phone to check the video and I get this message and it's like, hey, we know that you've been applying for stranger things, but we think that you'd be perfect for this just like super quick cross um and stand in opportunity on cobra kai and i'm like what like this is the best universal like uh birthday <laughs> gift like i can't believe it like yes yes um like she's, they're like are you available to test this date and this date i was like yes absolutely you know immediately got got on the phone with my cousin uh, i was like hey Susie, and she, she's like 23 the other one's 25. um uh i was like hey i I need a place to crash. I, I'm like, I'm gonna be on the Cobra Kai. <laughs> like, oh, dude, my couch or you know my brother's couch. We got you all day. And so, like, 
So I'm like, awesome, amazing. I cannot believe this is happening. You know, they're like, okay, we want you to test, you know, like, like tomorrow. So like, basically I, um, I booked a flight for the next, like almost the next day, if not like one, one day in between and, um, like went up and I got tested. Um, and then they're like, oh dude, we're pushing your scene back. And it's just like funny how everything worked. It's just really funny how everything worked. Um, they're like, dude, we're pushing your scene back a week. And I was like, to my cousins, they're like, dude, you're already here. We're not going to make you fly back and forth. Like, you know, hang out here, you know, like explore Atlanta, you know? And I was like, okay, you know, um, I had gotten all my ducks in a row and like, you know, cashed out on like all the stocks and stuff that I had, um, you know, invested with when I was with Nike. And so I had like, you know, a nice little savings to, you know, start a new life. And, Mm -hmm. you know, so I was just chilling. I was just chilling in Atlanta, kind of exploring the city and just kind of getting eager to film. I'm like, is it going to happen or not, man? Like, (laughs) you know, and then eventually they're like, yeah, it's happening. So then I get there to the scene and um they're like okay your scene is not the first scene um so you know but we're gonna get you outfitted and all that first so when i got covid tested again then i sat there got the results back then i they they took me to the the wardrobe uh tent and you know i got fitted um and like i was like i I wasn't a cobra kai yet you know like i was just like random person they put in the scrubs in like you know the background of like of, of like a blurry shot you know <laughs> and but like uh i was the perfect height for uh stingray so they're like you're gonna stand in for stingray um oh, do you, you know about standing in yeah um i remember um it was actually craig who um made a post about that and i i actually i was messaging him on instagram and he was explaining it to me about how he was standing in for like terry silver and chosen i'm like dude and he's like he, he's like it's not that big of a deal i'm like dude that's the biggest deal. Like you're a stand for Terry Silver and Chosen. Like, <laughs> it is so cool. Like yeah. I, I love, I love Craig, Craig's the man. He's, he'll, he'll downplay it, but he really <laughs> gets to fill some big shoes, you know? Yeah. Um, what's it called? Uh, so like for those people out there who don't know what standing in is, is basically they'll grab someone that has similar dimensions to the main character. And then they'll have that person go through the motions of that character while they balance the camera to that height and the angle and the lighting that they want. Um, that's that way. So when the actor gets their um, main cast can just come in, spit their lines out and um, you know, they can get their touch-ups on hair and makeup or whatever they need to do before um, you know, they yell action. So, um, so that's what standing in is. Um, so I got to stand in for Stingray. <laughs> well, it was in the hospital bed. It's great. Oh my God! Wait, 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 wait. In season four? Oh, season four. Oh, wait, wait. So you were, you were, but you weren't actually in season four, or were you? Like, like, like I do like a cross. You can like barely see me at the tournament. Know? What? Where? Where was that? I was in the hospital. Oh, 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 so you crossed by in the hospital. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can, like, oh. totally barely see me. Um, and, and that was just, like, the first thing that I ever did ever on, like, a camera. Oh, you know? my God. But um, because Literally the started... last episode of the season. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, um, it was, um, uh, it was really cool, man, because I didn't know what I was getting into. And, uh, uh like paul uh he's the man he really is such a gentleman god bless that man for real uh he was so encouraging um you know like typically um you don't really talk to the cast you know on on most productions but cobra kai is like different you know like it's just like like um you know everything happens organically um but there was more interaction, I guess, as AJ was saying with like the background and involvement, you know, mm. um, how he went from background to cast, you know, so they do look at us differently. And like, uh, there is, uh, definitely an elevated treatment that we get on Cobra Kai. Um, but, um, but yeah, uh, what was I saying? I'm sorry. Uh, you, you were talking about, um, well, first off that, that, that's so cool. How, like, 
I, I think I think a big reason for that, like, is because of the fan base and how people are so like people love the ensemble of the show. Like you have the characters like Homeless Lynn and Nestor and Lyle the pawn shop guy. That's why I think like 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 those guys everyone makes up the show and if it's not for the students of the dojo like yourself. There's no show. Like, I mean, you're, you're, you guys are the students. You guys are the the main antagonists for the show, pretty much. Oh yeah, uh, and like, I, I definitely wanted to tell you, like, uh, I'm gonna talk about that process a little later. Um, uh, of how I how I got to be a Cobra Kai because it was like they were specific. They were looking for a certain look and a certain uh, group of people. Um, and it was just a very cool process. But um, just to go back to like um Paul real quick. Yeah, he came up to me. You know. He came up to me. I was just chilling there and, and like, you know, just like watching, wa watching him, um, you know, perform just, you know, uh, <laughs> out of his nose, you know? <laughs> and so like, uh, I was watching him do that and like, uh, you know, like, you know, the yell cut and then they're turning around. They're like, you don't need to go in the bed. We're, we're, you know, rigging different cameras. So you, so Paul came over to me. He's like, Hey man, uh, so, uh, you're getting into acting. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, like I thought this was a weekend thing, you know. Um, I was like, yeah, you know, and he's like, dude, you're in a good place, man. Atlanta, a lot of work here. I spent a lot of time here. And I'm like, for real? And he's like, yeah, man. Yeah, you're in a good place, bro. Keep it up. Um, and I'm like, man, this is cool. This is cool, right? <laughs> so um, you know, I, I go back home, you know, I film it. I'm like, oh, dude, we got that. I'm in the world, you know, even if I'm a blur, it's all good. I'm in, I'm in the Miyagi verse, you know? Um, and Miyagi so like, uh, I go back home and it was so cool. As soon as I'm like literally reaching for my, my, uh, the handle of my Uber from the airport to go back home, this, the company, they, uh, they text me back. They're like, Hey, um, the casting agency, they're like, dude, we want you back next week for stranger things. And I was like, Wait, when you were well, gonna go back? Like, oh, yeah. I called my cousin. Hey, I gotta go back, and they're like, "Dude, come back!" Oh, Figure you were this thing out, you know? You were gonna go back to Miami, so I went back to Miami, and I'm sorry, yeah. I so I went back to Miami, and I'm at the airport, and I go, um, and I'm like grabbing the handle, and I was like, "Man, like in my, in my head, I'm like, wow, you know, I'm gonna go sell cars now. It's cool that I was like in the Miyagi verse. <laughs> Maybe I'll have like a little." you know, bonsai tree on my desk or something, <laughs> you know, like, uh, and like, uh, and, but like, so I, I'm, I'm at the airport in Miami. I'm, I'm already back, you know, going back home and I grab the, about to grab like the, literally is like a movie about to grab the handle of my Uber and Jeez. I get a text message and it says, Hey, um, you know, we loved you. Uh, we want to have you back next week for Stranger Things. And I was like, oh, my God, that's my other favorite show. That's my second favorite show. You know, like, um, yeah. my, like yes, you know, so like I immediately bought another ticket back to Atlanta and I called my cousins. I was like, I need to stay with you guys again. They're like, dude, come on down, like figure this thing out. And then um, like so I was like, OK, cool. So I go and I and I, I film, you know, a couple of days at Stranger Things. And then they're like, hey, we actually have another show called The First Lady. Um, would you be interested in being in it? I'm like, yes, I'm saying yes to everything. Yes, yes, to everything, you know. And then sure enough, like one week turns into like three and a half weeks. Wow. And my cousins are like, Joe. <laughs> you can't live with us what's going on you know like we love you you know we support you but what are you gonna do and at that point you know my my parents i you know i was you know really uh really have some great supportive parents i'm really really um you know god bless me with some some really supportive parents i'm really blessed um that they were so cool and and i'm so encouraging about everything they're like dude um so like you're making more money than you were at nike you know, it's something to consider. I'm like, yeah, I think I really need to like move out here. Then on my like second week of first lady, I actually got bumped up to play cast. Um, I played um, uh, Judy Greer's husband. Um, she's in uh, a few things. She's in the new uh, Net uh, Hulu show reboot and she's in um, Jurassic World. She's in Jawbreaker. She's, I, she's iconic. She's iconic, yeah. right? So um i got bumped up to that and it was a surreal experience you know like i got to i had to perform the waltz with her so um 
sharing the dance floor with her, but the other co the her co stars, um, which were like two main stars, was Michelle Pfeiffer and Aaron Eckhart. You know, Aaron Eckhart who played uh, Two Face in in you know uh, Dark Knight. You know, wow. Uh, and so like I'm just I'm like. I have this incredible experience where I got bumped up to cast and that night I, I talked to my parents and I was like, dude, guys, this just happened. And they're like, mm. I think you need to move. And I'm like, I think I need to move. They're like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm moving. <laughs> and then they're like, okay. I'm like, okay, I'm buying a one-way ticket. I'm going to pack up my Jeep and I'm going to drive up and I'm going to get myself an apartment up here. And they're like, okay, we'll, we'll co-sign whatever you need. You know, like we're, we're here to support you. And, um, and so that's basically what happened. You know, like that weekend I got a one-way ticket back home packed my bags, you know, packed my Jeep up to the brim, drove like 12 hours, like left at 4 a.m., got here at 4 p.m., you know, Oof. put my stuff down over at my cousin's house. And then within about a week and some change, uh, two weeks, I, I found myself a, a, like a, my new apartment I love so much. Is this it? That's so it, where you are right yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so, so cool. like um, – so that's how like I got started out here. And then I was like, okay, it's grind time. You know, um, you know, I had made friends and they had given me lists of different casting agencies. So I'm like, okay, it's just time to grind and get on as many sets as I possibly can and like learn the game, you know, and like Stranger Things helped me out with that a lot because um, I was able to network with a lot of, um, you know, people that are um, regulars in the industry at, at these Netflix series. So some of the people that worked on Stranger Things worked on Cobra Kai, like mm. our, our costumer. So, you know, I got to be very close. Frank um, Helmer? What's up? Is it Frank Helmer? No, it was like the background costumer. Her name's Christine. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, Christine rocks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, she, uh, she, she's the one who would like uh, basically, you know, have all of our geese with our names, uh, like, you know, um, it was so cool to see, like, you know, like my Cobra Kai gi with my, my, my Joe Suarez name tag on. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> so cool. It's so cool. Um, so like, uh, so yeah, I had been grinding in Atlanta, um, just working in the film industry, um, had done some, a lot of featured stuff. So, you know, was able to really, um, kind of self-taught, you know, I always wanted to be an actor. So like, it was very natural, like just mannerisms, you know, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know like pantomiming you know it's like it's what we get to do so like uh so i got to have you know like a lot of fun with that and really feel comfortable so by the time cobra kai started i had already built like a nice little reputation for myself of being super consistent um and like you know uh a good presence to have on set like you know if you send me you know you're gonna be sending one of your best um and i just always you know get along great with the crew and i'm just a friendly guy so um you know like try to try to like network and not not really network though just try to make friends you know yeah. um and like um uh, and end up networking through through making friends but uh but so um it was really cool i was like doing this like football scene i just finished this like awesome day of like playing a football player i was playing a quarterback throwing a football all day like with full pads it was for for some some random show but i get this text message and it says Hey Joe, um, we're starting up Cobra Kai again, and we're you know thinking about you know um, you know you um, for sure. And I was like, oh, I have been preparing for this. I have been you know randomly doing like you know kicks and punches and just like you know like I, I like kicking my light switches off. And, you know, like, I do that too. I do that too. Socks, like, you know, really just you know just getting just preparing for it because I knew that it was out there um and it's really funny actually when i uh when i did get let go of nike kind of felt like i got this like, euphoric feeling like i got let out of jail honestly it was really time for for something new and i said to myself you know what i'm gonna be on stranger things you know sure but i'm gonna be a cobra kai i don't even know if it's filming in atlanta i don't even know anything i'm gonna be a cobra kai that's that's just what's up like yeah. i just already put it in my head that like that's where I wanted to go, you know? And yeah. like, uh, and so like, um, you know, also when I was doing all that soul serving stuff, skating, working out and swimming and just trying to like eat right. And like, uh, just be the best version of myself. Um, you know, after I would swim, I'd totally look up at the stars and I would say, Hey universe, if there's any way to me, for me to be a Cobra Kai, like, <laughs> 
like dude i can i can like you know i love that and like uh you know i they wouldn't they, like i'm like literally the perfect person you know like uh uh and and so for me to get that text message finally i was like okay it's happening it's happening so i'm like okay i want to be in the dojo you know like i don't want to be like a random like high school student you know and she's like look this is for the dojo but they're doing a 50 person preliminary Joe. And like, I know you're one of our best, but don't get pissed off at me if they don't pick you, you know, like it's oh just God. not up to me. It's up to production. So, um, you're going to be sent there with like 49 other people and they're going to take a look at everybody and they're going to see like who they, who they want. Right. And, um, Wait, was, who was the one telling you all this? Like who, who are you actually having that conversation with? It was the um the uh it was the head of the casting agency that lady from Miami Heather so she oh, okay. originally did have Cobra Kai during season four, um during season five uh sh like shortly after the beginning of filming um for some reason or the other uh they decided to switch um casting agencies for background so she she started off like the first through about three and a half weeks with casting tailor made. And then we transitioned to central casting. Um, and uh, that was a fun process. <laughs> I'll tell you about that in a second. Yeah. Um, so like, but on day one, it's like, um, I get there and I'm seeing like, you know, some regulars that I have worked with on different productions and stuff like that. Um, and I'm just kind of feeling out the room and I don't think I'm better than anybody else at all, you know? Um, but I just knew that I had been preparing for this. Like, 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 I don't think anybody else had in the room, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I have been chasing that carrot without the carrot being in there and now I have the carrot in front of me. And it's like, I, I don't, nobody, nobody else did that, you know? Like, uh, mm -hmm. and, and so like I did the, uh, I did like the, uh, like the early work. Uh, and, and I just felt ready, you know, and like, I knew that, um, how I wanted to come, you know, uh, off to everybody. Um, and like, uh, so essentially what I didn't know is that one of the PAs, uh, Proby, uh, he was tasked to find, um, the new friends for Kyler and Tori. And so, um, there had been some regulars that had been there already like <clears throat> like phoebe austin uh gianna uh chance they have already been established um in season four uh and riley uh as well like um and they've been established in season four and like you know the all valley and all that there's a couple characters that were mentioned or heavily featured that ended up joining cobra kai that they knew that they wanted to to, to have like um Reagan, she was uh, in the soccer scene. And then Hannah, she was Lexi DeMarco. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which so, is like, such a, knew, cool, you know, a cool detail because we never actually saw her in um, season four. We never saw her at least at, with Nate at the prom. Yeah. So that yeah. was cool having her join. So, um, so like that was, that was fun. Like, you know, we got to joke around, uh, like with, with that, like on the, uh, uh, like, you know, behind the scenes and stuff, like when we were like, you know, we we're always like, Hey Lexi, you know, like Lexi DeMarco and just <laughs> calling her full name. And, um, but, uh, but yeah, it was really, um, it's really cool that they, they kind of already knew who they wanted to bring back and like, um, how this Cobra Kai dojo was going to be, um, a little bit different than, than uh, John Kreese's kind of rugged ragtag. Now <laughs> this is super highly advanced. We got the state of the art equipment, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the gear, the merch, you know, we have a merch store, you know, the smoothie bar. <laughs> and so they knew that they wanted to really elevate um, the Cobra Kai crew as a total. And um, so, you know, they had, they had their girls kind of picked um, and then, um, man, it was really cool. Uh, you know, they picked me, um, and it was a total blessing. Uh, I, the first day was 50 people and I'm just like, all right, you know, like I already do things that like I to stand out, like, you know, I bring my game boy from like the nineties, uh, <laughs> like to set. So if like, we're just downtime, I'll just be playing like 
Pokemon or Mario, you know, like, and like, uh, you know, the PA comes over. He's like, dude, is that a freaking Game Boy? <laughs> there you go, yeah. man. That's how you do it. <laughs> and he's like, dude, you're amazing. Like, dude, the game, <laughs> you're and then, amazing. You and know? he's like, then he like, then it like, when he's like, when they're like deciding like who's going to be on the show, he's like, that's the Game Boy guy. We need him. <laughs> yeah, dude. So like, they already knew like, okay, this guy's into some cool stuff. You know, this guy's, this guy, you know, he doesn't not just look cool, but like, He's, he's into some cool stuff and like you know so like they, they kind of see how like we carry ourselves around and then the next day uh the first day they put me in some like some really cool champion gear right mm -hmm. and like uh and then they put like half of the old cobra kai's in the champion gear and then like us like I'm, I'm assuming that they kind of saw me and they knew that they you know they were they were leaning towards me because because of that like gianna was also put in the 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 cobra kai gear as long as as long as well as a, another individual um but um and we didn't get used that first day you know and so like i was like what's going on you know mm -hmm. and then i was like look gianna wasn't used if gianna wasn't used and like a couple of the others weren't used they may truly just be trying to see who is good at martial arts in this group of 50, you know? So, mm -hmm. um, the second day was 25 people. And so that day I did get in the dojo. They're like, we're going to have you in geese today, Joe. And, um, we're going to be having you, you know, work with some senseis, uh, you know, in, in groups. Right. So I, um, you know, had met chance and me and him had a like, you know, solid chemistry. So I was like, dude, you're already established. Um, I want to, I want to like, obviously, you know, like be your sparring partner, you know, yeah. like, <laughs> he was like, dude, totally, you know, like you look like a good match for me. So that'd be great. So then, uh, like you can see us in the background, there's like this one, uh, where they bring in all the different senseis, um, yeah. from the different dojos, uh, as their trial. Um, you can barely see me behind, uh, Tori and Kim Dae Young, uh, like me and him are just like, you know, like just like doing some like, you know, <laughs> light work. But um, that was like my first establishing scene with like T Kyler and Tori's friends, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, it's like, okay, we're comfortable enough to fight with, you know, like be sparring partners. So like clearly we're friends. And then um, I didn't know what to expect next because the next scene was, was the water park scenes, right? Mm. So um super cool super cool how it <laughs> happened man super cool how it happened bro because like something was telling me it was like dude they're gonna pick me as a cobra they're gonna <laughs> pick me as a cobra i can feel it with every like fiber of my being like <laughs> like dude they're gonna pick me as a cobra and like uh it says you know if everybody else wear you know different colors do not wear black do not wear yellow and i was like well, that's exactly what I'm wearing. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm wearing, you know? Absolutely. And so I get there to like the, um, you know, the fitting tent and, uh, you know, the, um, the, uh, the way that like Cobra Kai is, it's like such like a family. They love surprising you. Like how they, like how AJ was surprised when like he got to the sound stage and they're miking him up. Yeah. They like to do that. They are so cool. I, I love them so much. Um, and so basically that's what they did with me and another individual. Um, and so I get to the fitting tent. They're like, dude, you guys are wearing black. And I, cause I told the kid, I was like, yo, wear black, you know, like I, <laughs> with us, you know? And so, um, so they're like, dude, you guys are wearing too much black. Um, just, just, just wait up. And I was like, okay, I'm heading straight to set. <laughs> you know, I'm going straight, I'm going to find Proby, you know? And so, uh i go to proby and i was gonna ask yo proby what's like what's going on like am i a cobra kai <laughs> or not you know like tell me let me break it break it to me slowly just let me know you know yeah and before i can even say anything to him he goes to me and like the other kid he goes oh dude perfect you guys are here awesome you guys are wearing black great um dude congratulations guys you just made cobra kai and i'm like what for real he's like yeah man do you uh, agree to prioritize this production um right now it's september we're going all the way till december do you agree to prioritize this production over all any other productions or any other work that you have going on 
I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> He's like, awesome. We're going to be having you, you know, filming probably like three or four times out of the week, the days of the week that you're not filming. We're going to have you coming to the studio to get COVID tested. So you're cool with all that? And I'm like, hell yeah dude cobra kai camp let's go you know and he's like awesome man go and join your team and then so like you know i see like they have the miyagi does and they have us separated right um and like you know like i didn't know this but you know there's a little there's a little playful beef you know it's it's all in good fun yeah, but some people don't like each other, you know, and like, oh, 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 you know, I, I don't, I'm just getting there, you know. Screw those so like, Miyagi-Dos, those. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so like, um, it's was, it was really, really funny. It's really funny. That's so awesome. So like, I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I'm just getting there, you know. And then like, it's funny. Like, I think it was like Hannah and like Anna, um, like two Cobra Kai girls. Uh, like they see like me and this other uh and, like guy walking up and they're like oh yeah oh she's like they're like oh looks like we got some new cobras <laughs> and then one of them was like yeah i don't know if that's a good thing and i was I, like wait this is when you're not filming yeah 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 i love, yeah, I love, yeah. <laughs> I love that so it's i'm so like awesome. ooh, am i getting am i getting tried right now and then all of a sudden um <laughs> I, I was just like shook it off i was like it's a good thing trust me right you know and then and then uh what's it called? they're like cool whatever right and then since like the i guess like the two new girls are like uh like uh you know like they're new cobras and there was like i'm not gonna say who it was yeah but there was a miyagi Do guy that uh was kind of trying to talk to them and then like they just weren't having it you know and he kept on coming around and like uh you know they're like dude get away from me man like just just go over there with your miyagi does bro we want to chill with our cobras like please you know freaking um, nate <laughs> i'm guessing because <laughs> like, like, like i don't know i guess the guy was doing things that was like annoying them you know and like i, I and i feel you because I don't know, man. The guy was kind of staring at me and pointing and laughing at me, bro. Because he, he thought that I was just trying to come up. He thought that he didn't think that I really was legitimately told that I'm one of the new Cobras, you know? Oh my God. He thought that I was just trying to finagle my way into like, you know, hey, yeah, what's up, guy? Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Cobra guy, too. Like, no, dude. I was, I'm the shit, you know? So, so like. I didn't even believe it at first. And then somebody else was like, look, I look, turn around. He's pointing at you and laughing. And I turned around. The guy was like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, hell no. Screw the Miyagi does. <laughs> but no, uh, oh not all of them are bad. Just that like, guy. Just you know, especially the former Cobras, like, um, um, what's it called? Um, uh, like you know some of the oh, the former cobras like they're, they're cool like xander um like i got to fight xander mm. in the final fight um and, and like uh but yeah so basically you know i, I get told you know I'm, I'm in cobra kai and like they're like all right well we're now we're setting up for the first scene with like you know the whole the new crew um and you're just gonna be you know sh um basically shouting losers losers <laughs> tory tory right <laughs> <laughs> and uh so like we were doing that and like you know mm. gearing up for you know the three two one countdown and all that and like um and it kind of just hit me like in that moment i'm like dude i am literally living this episode right now wow i'm literally living <sighs> my life in this episode right now this That's is surreal so cool. right so i um i see joe you know joe um he plays kyler yeah um and I'm like, it, it, it's a Joe thing. So I, I go, hey, Joe. He goes, what's up? I go, my name's Joe, too. <laughs> he goes, oh, dude, get over here, bro. <laughs> dude, I was, like, I was like, dude, I'm playing one of your new friends, bro. Like, I'm, I'm one of the new Cobras for season five. He's like, hell yeah, man. I was like, dude, I got to tell you, bro. I like, I'm, this is pretty surreal, man. Like, I was a big fan of this. Like, I'm a big fan of the show, dude. Like, yeah. I hated you, man. I hated you. Dude, you're such a good actor, you know? And he's like, oh, man, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that. I'm like, no, no, for real. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm, I'm excited to, you know, play like, you know, like one of your evil new friends. You know? and he's like, Hell yeah. So like, you know, 
Oh, a, a few hours go by filming, you know, we're in the hot sun and we're turning around the cameras from one angle to the other one. And like, uh, and like, you know, hours are going by and we're just chilling, you know, talking like casually and stuff. And like, um, and like, uh, I go back up to Joe and I'm like, I'm like, yo, Joe, um, yo. And he's like, what's up? I'm like, you know how I told you I was like, all like, you know, team Miguel before he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, that's real now. <laughs> and he's like, Oh my God. I was like, no, I'm just kidding. I know like y'all, y'all, everyone's friends. I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Like, no, dude, dude, I love that, bro. I love that. He's like, that's the energy that I need, bro. Screw this you. Is awesome season, you know? And like, uh, oh, that was man. like, a, like the, like the great greatest, like first interactions, bro. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get him in character he's real bro nah. <laughs> like, oh god oh, it's that, great it's great that's so funny i <laughs> i i love that i love it yeah you gotta i mean i get i'm i'm just like picturing like like if i was there like i'm, I'm picturing like what i would do it's like or how i would feel it's like you like you're if you're seeing especially since you were a fan before you know, it's hard to see Sholo and Joe and uh, Mary at first. Like, no, you see Miguel, Kyler, and Sam. So it's like, yo, like, Miguel. Like, like why you? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, yeah, it's like, it, it's, 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 I'm such a fan of the show. It's just like one thing to see them on their own. And then like, and another thing, just be thrown in. Oh yeah, no, you're their friend. Yeah. You're, and you, he hates you. You hate him because <laughs> this guy's beat, you know? So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, and wow. um, so that's like how that was like basically how, it, you know, it got it, everything happened. And like, you know, that weekend um, production, they were like, dude, we want to do a team bonding, um, mm. uh, you know, outing. So we uh, we usually use a, a certain brewery as like extended parking that's next to our uh, it's pretty close, I guess, to our stages. Um, and they're like, dude, we rented out a couple of hours. Um, so we have an open tab. So um, it's crew and only Cobras, like, you know, like only the background Cobras. And sure, if any cast wants to come, they can come. But like, you know, those guys are busy. So yeah. um, so it was really just like not the big three, everyone but the big three, but all the main important people like um, head camera op, Kevin, you know, uh, assistant director, uh, you know, um, second ad uh freaking dustin you know all like the other really big important people had a set deck um bro head of craft services like and all these people and like they because like we're going to be filming from september to december so they kind of want to get to know like your vibe you know like they invested in you um and like you know um the reason why they do do pick us is like you know where to show up camera ready our hair and girls makeup or whatever like where to where to show up ready our call time is 6 a.m mm. we're to be changing taking off our shoes at 6 a.m by 6 30 we are with our black belts tied in a line waiting to go into the dojo or to train and uh it was, it was really cool so i'll get to that in a second um so like uh basically um um so we all went out and uh you know, I was like, I'm going to show up, you know, like four hours into it. Cause I have a feeling these guys are, are animals, you know, like these guys are like rock stars, you know, like they're, it's going to be a long night, you know? Yeah. Um, so like, you know, everyone kind of showed up around four. I showed up around eight by like 10 30. We're already moving to another bar. And that's when everyone else was like, kind of bids their farewells. And I'm like, hell no this is an opportunity to for me to like really connect with my team and let them know yeah. like yo this is like low-key a total full circle manifestation you know mm -hmm. like this was really really something that i asked the universe for and it actually happened you know so um so then you know I, uh i got the opportunity to you know like just get real personal with everybody and like um it was so awesome. Like I got to you know speak to Kevin and like Dustin and they can kind of like see like what my, my goals are through Cobra Kai and like, you know, what my martial arts influence is since I didn't grow up in the eighties. Um, I was like, you know, like, you know, we got mortal Kombat when I was growing <laughs> up and you know, like, so, I mean, sure. I watched the karate kid, but 
um you know like mortal kombat that was like you know big influence for martial arts for myself and he's they're like i like it <laughs> totally valid and then um i you know i got to ask him i was like you know um you had 50 people like did you know like how what was the what was the process of like they're like oh do i we knew that we just needed a couple more people and as soon as we saw you we knew that we wanted you for sure um and i was like for real they're like yeah man we saw the hair and the earring we're like dude that's california right there uh, that's super california we need you know like and and they kind of knew what what direction they kind of wanted for um the the background cobras like the friends of kyler um if you look in the past you know they're um like underclassmen you know and like now like nothing nothing on the previous cobra kai classes at all but they just really beefed up the cobra kai uh crew this time yeah. around like um they they did a strong foundation uh in season four and they just built on that with season five mm. and like i think that the individuals that they picked and they placed um to play uh like you know the friends um are, are absolutely authentic to the show and as well as like um have uh organic personalities for the roles i um you know like i was re-watching the the series while i was filming it because i was studying it so you cool. know like studying like all right what's a cobra kai face what's a good cobra kai face you know uh i was like all right chris chris got a good one chris got a good one yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah he's got a really good one. Oh my yeah, wait, 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 well, evil. Let, me, let me see like your impression of Chris's face. All right, so I'm like, I'm like, all right, I'll do, I'll do like a Chris, but since I have hair, I'll, I gotta, you know, I gotta be like a dick with my hair. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, um, so I'll do like Chris is like, right, and so I'll, I'll do that smile, and then I'll, I'll, I'll do it with the hair. So I'll be like, it's <laughs> <laughs> so, such a dick. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> So like, it's like these little things that, um, that we're not asked to do, but we're picked because we have kind of like, um, that lens to do so. And like the girls do it as well. You know, I see them like get their tough face on, you know, it's <laughs> great. It's so great. And then they yell cut and I'm just like, <laughs> they're, 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 we should have a great time with it. Um, it's a lot of that. Yeah, I'm over guy. Um, <laughs> um, what's it called? One thing that I wanted to also say was that um, that I, I, as I um, I spoke a little bit earlier is that um, yeah so it's a strict schedule they picked us for a reason they picked us because we come camera ready we have the personality we have the look um, we have like you know the physical performance aspect as well um, and we do train karate we actually do train karate um, so um, basically um, as I said you know. 6 a.m. We're taking off our shoes. 6:30. We're in a line with our uh, black belts tied. Um, if we're not going straight into filming, um, majority of the time we'll be doing uh, an hour of uh, a, a karate session. So it'll either be conducted by um, mainly by Jake Huang, who plays. Um, sensei hian Wu, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's awesome yeah man so he's uh you know all these all these senseis that they picked are actual very serious martial artists world champions and uh to be able to learn from them firsthand it was just incredible to see my martial arts accelerate the way that it did and um you know, I, I, I took that opportunity to take what they taught me and practice it on in my free time when not just on downtime on set, but at home in my living room, um, you know, uh, uh, LA fitness on the, on the, on the bags, you know, in the mirrors, getting the kata that they taught me, uh, perfectly and sharp, um, as well as like on my own rest his soul, Jason, David Frank, um, the green Ranger, he has a, um, an academy for martial arts, uh, in California and Texas, I believe. And also it's an online virtual academy as well. So I was like, all right, this guy's legit. He's one of the best martial arts artists of like my time. And um, <clears throat> uh, so I just started watching the, his videos and, and doing his training sessions. And, you know, every single time I got back in the dojo, I was just that much better. Kicks are that much cleaner. 
And uh, uh, so that was one thing that I did. I was like, if I'm a Cobra Kai, I'm going to respect the martial arts aspect of, of, of the, of the um, uh, of everything. And, um, and then, you know, as you know, we had Tyron Woodley mm. as one of our senseis That's and sad. dude, he, he, he taught us, he taught us um, some martial arts as well. We did uh, some kicking drills with him where he's holding the bag and then wow. basically um, <clears throat> we kick and then we hold our leg and bring it back, you know, um, instead of just kicking and dropping it forward, mm-hmm. we're kicking and then keeping that oh, like that wow. hip open and then bringing it back and then getting back in the stance. So it was really, really cool being able to work with like, you know, Tyron freaking Woodley, man. Yeah. <laughs> Were you a fan and, of his before, before um, Cobra Kai? Yeah, you know, like I, I was definitely um, I'm a fan of MMA and like uh, like um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and stuff like that. I um, like I don't practice as much as I should, but like uh, whenever I'm back home, I try to get in the mix with uh, you know some friends back home. So um, definitely, um, I'm a fan of MMA and like uh, U- UFC. Um, mm. So. You know, I knew of Tyron is, and uh, I got to tell you, it was during filming that he had the, like, uh, that he made the announcement that he was going to fight Jake Paul. Oh, really? It was from one day to the next. Oh, my God. Wait. Like, we're, we're like, uh, <laughs> I'm like, say, all right, bye, Tyron. All of a sudden, go home freaking all over like facebook and like you know like twitter instagram all that like just about the the jake paul fight with tyron woodley and i'm like this man is working 12 hour days (laughs) like he's not training for 12 hours um but like uh you know i was like uh he i think he put up a good fight and like we were all watching and supporting him uh Mm -hmm. uh, during our cobra kai christmas party (laughs) oh it's Um, awesome and uh but yeah you know it was it was really cool like um that he announced that and he was like yeah I'm, bro i have an opportunity to go fight i'm gonna go fight you know and he, so our senseis actually helped him prepare as much as he could for that fight wow <clears throat> yeah um so, so you know whenever he like wasn't filming on certain scenes on his downtime he was actually training with uh with yeah with these guys um for that fight so it's it's pretty cool that's so cool. That's like a separate like, like show on its own. Like Tyrone Woodley training to fight Jake Paul with like a montage, you know, like a Cobra Kai chronic montage. It's like yeah, him over at like crafty or, or like <laughs> you know, get, eating some set and some set food in in his trailer, like you know, doing like jumping jacks. Like that is so um, cool. But yeah, um, like. Um, I got to meet I got I got to meet you know William Zapka and Ralph Macchio of course <laughs> and wait so did did you meet like you met pretty much all of them Zapka Macchio Yuji right because he was, yeah yeah he was there and then um you I also know obviously Thomas Alicia Hannah Kim I know you met Sean Kanan too how did how did you meet him because he wasn't in any of the Cobra Kai dojo scene. So I, I, I'm excited for that. You And you also have an, a photo of him on your Instagram. Sean is like seriously one of the like top gentlemen that I've ever met in my life. Yeah. He is such a good dude, man. Um, man, uh, when I first joined Cobra Kai, like, I don't know. I, it was like almost like the universe was kind of like, Oh, you want the Cobra Kai experience? And I almost like started getting into like not not me, but like like the world around me. Like I got into a couple of like situations where people were like aggressive towards me where I had to de-escalate, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm like, what the hell is happening, man? Like, yeah. I wish I had, like, is this happening because I'm a Cobra Kai now <laughs> and I asked for like the experience and just like Danielson is getting into all this trouble when he joins Cobra Kai. Is that what's going on? You, you know, asked for it. Like, man, right? Like the, like the full on experience. And I was like, man, I wish I had a way to just like approach, like, like the mentality of being a Cobra Kai 
and like a, a, like a guidelines how to approach this role, you know? And sure enough, I was on Instagram and I uh, scrolling and I had, you know, been following Sean. Uh, so I follow all the bad guys from, you know, the cry kid. And uh, <laughs> I see that he just came out with a book called way of the Cobra. Right. Yes. Yes. And I was like, what are you kidding me a book called way of the cobra this is literally what i just asked for i literally asked for some guidelines to how to approach like life in the lens of like a cobra and how i can like um like take that and um you know use that mentality towards my approach with my character that i want to have and this book came out and oh my god it is seriously this is the best self-help book I've ever um, like read in my life, uh, you know, uh, it's just so great because um, it's not preachy. It's not preachy. It's not like, oh, well, one must know. No, it's not. <laughs> it, it, it's like through the lens of a cobra. So like, um, you know, him being a karate's bad boy, <laughs> it's just authentic, you know, it's just authentic. And like, um, so it, this book has amazing um, tools, mental tools, um, how to deal with all sorts of things in life. Um, um, it really just breaks down like psychology, even um, personal, external. Um, this is just such a good tool for life. I'm actually, uh, I actually just purchased the um, Kumite. It's way of basically way of the Cobra Two, the sequel yeah. to it. Um, and so like I bought this book and I was like, perfect when I'm not on set and I'm behind the scenes and I'm just chilling and holding, this is what I'm going to be reading, you know? Mm. And so like, and people would walk by and they'd be like, what, what, what you reading? And I'm like, Oh, this is Sean Cannon's book. Yeah. Yeah. Way of the Cobra. Yeah. I'm really doing it. You know? And they're like, this guy's the man, you know? <laughs> and, uh, so eventually it came into like, you know, probably the last month of filming, I think it was early December. They're like, they're like, Joe, we want you to stand in the days that you're not uh, filming in the dojo. And I was like, hell yeah. You know, I love you guys. I want to be here. <laughs> I want to sleep here. You know, I want to sleep in the dojo. I love you guys. You know, and they're like, uh, awesome. So like they started having me stand in. So, um, I stood in for actually Johnny. I stood in for William Zabka a couple times. Super cool. I, I got to, show you something i'll be right back i yeah. just gotta pull something i oh my i'll be excited so like um you know i i told you a few years back i, I dressed like johnny for halloween right yeah well i got this awesome freaking awesome leather red jacket right <laughs> so once i joined cobra kai officially i was like oh yo this jacket has a whole new meaning now and I started wearing it around set and everyone was like, dude, that's the guy, man. He's doing it, bro. He gets it. We picked a good one. This guy <laughs> gets it, you know? So like, um, so I, I was like there having like, like I was having I a cigarette it. and like, uh, I, I saw like, um, William, you know, uh, he, he, he would walk by and, and like, if I'm the day that I was wearing, uh, like a, all the Cobra Kai gear, he walked by and he was like, oh dude, nice, uh, Nice shirt. <laughs> he goes, yo, that's a badass shirt. That's what he says. He goes, yo, that's a badass shirt. And I go, oh, dude, hell yeah, man. Cobra Kai never dies. And, I, and then I was like, wish you were my sensei, though. <laughs> right? And I had I had met him uh, at the water park scene uh, and, you know, just got to introduce myself, let him know I'm one of the new Cobras. You know, thank you for everything. Um, and, like, uh, and, like, yeah, that I'm wearing this, like, kind of uh, – herringbone gold chain as like a nod to like the one that he wore in a few of, the, um, of his 80s movies oh, like, uh, cool. like uh, just one of the other guys or something like that and other other movies so um and so like um so he goes I go yo I wish you were my sensei <laughs> though you know and he goes and he, he, and he turns around and he's like hey I'm everyone's sensei <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this guy's amazing and Bro, um so oh like uh i had some cool moments with that with like with william zabka and like you know like this jacket uh and oh, all man. the crew loved it and they're like this guy this guy gets it you know so like 
um this jacket's got a whole new meaning now man and uh oh my god um, <laughs> it, it, so like uh but yeah you know like meeting william dude he, he like these guys are awesome um they truly awesome and like it's really easy for um william to be the comedic relief in cobra kai because that's just his personality in life okay <laughs> this is one of the golden stories that i wanted to uh tell you no pun intended yeah. right um, <laughs> we're in the bathroom right um uh, uh i saw a stall was available so i used the stall whatever and then i'm like finish you know 10 one 10 one means p oh so I finished, <laughs> i'm like okay i hear someone coming in so let me just hurry on up you know mm. um so like i just like unlock the door and then i'm you know like i'm i'm washing my hands and the person that had been there already for you know like a little bit of time I looked and it was William Zapka, right? And I'm like, and he's using the urinal, right? And, and like, the, like the, the set, the way that everything is, it's like, it's like very tiny, right? So like, I'm like, like he's here and I'm like next to him, like like he's here and I'm like right next to him and there's just like a little divider. And I'm just like, all right, this is awkward. Let me just hurry up and like, you know, wash my hands here. And, uh, and then like, so I go to like, turn around to like go, um, get you know like some paper towels or whatever and then i see bro um william zapka does this dude oh my god it's so funny he goes Z <laughs> dude i had to say something i was like i was like dude did you just karate kick the urinal <laughs> and he goes hell yeah man it's better than touching it what the, wait, wait, wait. That is, I was like, <laughs> oh my god, that is hysterical. I'm doing that forever from now on. Wait, to flush it, he karate chopped it? Or he karate, karate kicked, kicked it, it. Like, oh, straight up. Just, like, full on, like, just sized it up. Just, and then just, <laughs> legs just flying in the air. Oh, it was so funny. And I was just, like, I was, like, literally just, like, turning around for, like, paper towels. And I just threw it, like, chop. And I'm, like. Dude, did you just karate kick the urinal? He goes, hell yeah, man. That is way better than touching it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. This was William Zapka or Johnny Lawrence? I mean, like, come on. Like, oh my God. That's why I'm like, dude, I, I he just, he gets into it right away. You like, were in a scene from the show. That's how, I, like, I, that's a scene. Like, dude. Yeah. If I were you, I would go to John, Josh, and Hayden and tell them like, "This is what Zapka did. It's such a Johnny moment. You got to put this in the show. You got to, you got to have him taking a piss next to Miguel or something, and Karate kicks the the, the urinal <laughs> flusher, and then Miguel's like, Sensei, did you just kick the urinal? Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> so funny, like, uh, like." And oh like, my god <laughs> and it's just like all day it's all day like even when 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 he came in and like we had never heard the line before so when he came in he goes yeah i'm gonna take that ponytail and shove it right up your ass <laughs> so like, we, like we had to like wait for a second because everyone was dying before we could do another take because it was just so good oh, it was just so god. like william Zad was so johnny you know? <laughs> So, yeah, it was oh, so, such a cool God. experience. Um, Whew. Man, yeah, it was great. Wait, wait, like, I'm, I'm just like, so this, has he done this before to urinals? Like, <laughs> like, like, is it? Oh, yeah. So you're telling me, like. How many years? That's the question. How long has this been going on? How many urinals has he karate kicked? Like, imagine being in a public restroom with William Zapka and, like, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my um, god so Ooh. like uh um, <laughs> man that's yeah, so funny good, that's good so times funny. good times how does um, he turn on the sink does he does he <laughs> roundhouse round, round, roundhouse fine <laughs> elbow to the <laughs> so like um so it was it was really cool like once once we did start getting into the mix and like in the dojo and stuff and like um <sighs> it's established that like i play uh Joe and Peyton, you know, friends in the in the in the mix, like uh, I, I, in the show, 
like um yeah like we totally have like you know small small talk in, um in between like set like uh um in between like scenes and stuff like that um and like uh Peyton came over to me she's like dude it's like uh love the look for Cobra Kai uh season five it's like with uh you know um She's like, you know, I had these, I had these big, like, uh, these big shades for the the water park scene, and then like I had the gold chain, yeah, um, and like the earring, and it's just like very Italian ish <laughs> mobster. I'm not Italian, I, I, I'm Hispanic, but um, I get it a lot, you know. Um, and so she's like with like uh, Terry Silver with his like <laughs> slick back hair. And his like earring is like it's like it's giving very like Italian mobster, <laughs> and uh, so she came up to to me and um and like and said that and like uh, we we're joking around about uh, I was like yeah maybe maybe I'll get a you know ponytail <laughs> you know maybe you know for the tournament dye your uh, hair silver nod to him you know um but uh, no it was really cool the cast is awesome um like uh, Dallas is a pro I'm super excited for his future um you know as well as my peers you know AJ, aj's awesome he's super talented when it comes to like uh just entertainment period whether it's acting or singing you know he's just super super talented and um as, and uh, as well as my friend phoebe uh she got a line in a in a movie that we were like core background in and uh so so it's called do revenge it's out there on netflix um so you could see her in that and um and like uh it was really funny seeing, um, uh, bro. Um, I, I can't believe it. it's G- Gianni, or it, not Gianni, but uh, oh, Dimitri, not Dimitri. Uh, it's it's, it's G- freaking he plays the young LaRusso. Oh, Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. <laughs> I get mixed up with the G's. Um, Griffin, man, <laughs> dude, he is the man. Cause like season four hadn't come out yet. You know, when we were filming season five, it came out like, like, um, a little bit closer. No, no, it, it didn't come out yet at all. So like, um, like I had, you know, I had envisioned him as like this, you know, this, this pudgy kid. Mm-hmm. And then I see him and he's like this tall athletic looking kid you know yeah. and uh i just had to let him know i just was like i was like um uh yo griffin and he's like yo what's up and i'm like major glow up I'm sorry, I said, I said, major glow up my guy and he goes oh yo dude thanks bro dude thanks oh dude i can't wait bro and i was like no for real bro like keep it up man you freaking the, people are gonna be super surprised when they see you again you know yeah. and then the, he's like dude i'm so excited bro i'm so excited for it bro and like uh it, so that was that was really cool to talk to him about that and um um and then uh i want to share with you my experience of uh, being brought on to like the stunts team for the final fight Man. um you know as aj was saying you know they and, and the way that they do things at cobra kai is just so special um they they know that if you work hard for them, like they're gonna, they're gonna take care of you, you know, and like, um, and it's all discipline and respect. It's very, very martial arts um, oriented. Um, and, and just uh, so they, they, they saw me continuously progressing, getting better and better, you know, trying different moves doing, you know, uh, spinning uh, jump kicks and stuff like that. And they're seeing my progression in martial arts, everything's getting cleaner. I'm asking for help. You know, yeah. um, I'm going up to different senseis and I'm asking them, you know, to help clean up certain things. And <clears throat> so at the end, you know, I, I said that they had me start standing in for Johnny um, on the first day that I got there. It was so cool. Um, they're like, hey, Joe, are you uh, are you sad by any chance? And they're like, I was like, no, not yet. And they're like, OK, cool. And then um, they asked Gianna, um, they're like, hey, you uh you sag she's like no not yet like okay cool so during lunch me and gianna are just vibing we're just you know eating great food cobra kai's got great food Mm. great set food shout out the catering team (laughs) (laughs) um and uh we're like dude you know what on the off season 
I'm really going to focus on my martial arts, mm. focus on my stretching, really try to really be disciplined with, um, you know, my body and, and everything so that, you know, season six comes and they take a look at us and, you know, maybe we can, you know, get in that final fight, you know, literally as we were saying this, um, Jesse house, he's the, uh, like one of the assistant stunt coordinators. He's actually, um, Johnny William Zapka's stunt, uh, double. And he comes up to me and he, you know, as he did earlier uh, that day, he can't, he's, he's like, Hey, Oh, great. Both of you guys are together. Awesome. He's like, um, <clears throat> so we've been scouting everybody's martial arts from the beginning. And they're like, he's like, Joe, you know, um, you have the best martial arts for the guys and then, you know, Gianna, you have the best martial arts for the girls. And, um, we want to use you guys for the final fight. Uh, I want to bring you onto the stunts team and have you fight some of the cast members. And we just looked at each other. We're like, no way. We were just saying, we're like, oh, we we're just talking about how, like, if we just like grind it, dude, uh, thank you so much. You know? And like, uh, they're like, yeah, absolutely. We're going to get all your information. So make sure that you go out today. We wrap and we need you to buy like, you know, um, the slip on elbow pads and knee pads and stuff. Cause you're going to be taking some, some falls. Ooh. And I'm like, dude, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So, um, you know, they called me and they're like, yo, you know, Joe, um, you know, you're on the stunts team. We're going to have you fight, you know, a few of the cast members. We're going to be elevating your rates and, um, dude, welcome, you know, welcome to the stunts team. And I'm like, mm. dude, like the fact that I'm even on your guys's radar, like, this is super surreal. And they're like, dude, you deserved it. You know, you've been, you know, we've been watching you progress and like, um, you know, you're ready. You're, you're definitely ready. And <laughs> we want to use you. And I was like, hell yeah. So yes, um, sensei. <laughs> yes, sensei. Yes, I'm, sensei. I'm ready, sensei. <laughs> oh man. And so it was really cool. It was really cool how that happened. And then, you know, once we got into the final fight, um, you know, there are certain beats within the script that um that are focused, mm -hmm. but you gotta build around that. And so that's one thing that I I I totally learned, you know, like um a lot of the things that we did were uh because we have such amazing professionals in uh ken bearfield uh he's second unit uh director for uh stunt coordinator and uh one of my senseis craig henningson uh who plays the the slick back hair i forgot his sensei's name it's like sensei like rico or something like that. <laughs> it's like it's the italian one yeah um, um but uh yeah craig henningson he uh he's got the short slick back hair um uh brown hair um i can't believe i forgot his sensei name it's, it's fa I, I i i deserve to do 60 push-ups <laughs> on, push on your knuckles yeah, straight up <laughs> <laughs> um but uh but yeah so that happened that day and um like um on the day Basically, they're like, okay, we, we have certain beats that they want to, you know, have going off in the background. So um, I was lucky enough that they felt I was I was ready um, with my martial arts to be actually, um, you know, dodging and, and throwing kicks and, and punches and stuff like that. So they set up a few um, beats for us and then um, had us freestyle in, in some of the other ones. And it was just an, a super fulfilling, super fulfilling um, um experience because man like when all is said and done um i was i was i was all up in that fight you know i really was you know like uh yeah. there was a lot more that there was a lot more there was a lot more that we filmed that did not make it Ooh, and, like like uh, like what um there was different angles honestly different angles uh there was one where um ralph got actually in the center of like everyone's like it was like a huge dog pile when johnny and um and uh miguel's mom and and uh what's it called uh, and ralph and his wife uh entered uh like they they don't just watch it they say something they're like oh yeah oh my god and then you know Paul's like, oh, they're not, and this is not the, this is not the B team either or something like that. Mm -hmm. They actually get into the dog pile and they actually start separating us. Like, and like, oh there's one part where, um, that we filmed 
that I'm like me and Robbie are uh, are like pushing each other, right? We're having a pushing yeah. match, and then like behind me um, is like uh, Nate and Owen, and they're like they're trying to like come in and do what they can in this big, <laughs> gigantic like dog pile, and I'm like. I'm like stiff arming like <laughs> one of like each of them as like they take turns coming and then like Ralph sees me and he grabs me by like the jacket and I'm just have to just like you know I'm like oh I'll, the, the karate kid has me. Yeah. Ralph is like choking like, you. <laughs> I was like, dude, he had me by the neck. It didn't make the uh it didn't make the fight sequence though. Dude, and then there was oh another God. um <laughs> there was another few beats that I had um from uh from an aerial view that you could have seen me uh, really fight uh, Dimitri. Cause oh. there's one part where Hawk starts t- uh, taking on two Cobra Kai's, right? Yeah. So two Cobra Kai's start attacking Hawk and that leaves two Miyagi does and one Cobra. And so I have to start defending myself against um, Xander and uh, Dimitri, right? um so then like um i like i like hit xander first and then um dimitri goes to like to to swing a punch and then like i block it and then xander throws another punch and i bring it down and then like i i like hit him in the face and then uh gianni hits me in the face and i go down and then xander knees me in the head and i and then i go i go really really down no Um, yeah dude it was some sick beats that was so <laughs> sick um and like but you could see like if you like frame by frame second by second you can see areas of mm. that fight just thrown into the mix of the craziness you know yeah um and so that was super rewarding you know um like uh you know the my, my dad when he was when he was alive you know, for that Christmas, I came home and I got him my my black belt. I'm like, here, dad. And he's like, dude, this is this is awesome. So like, the whole experience was was really um, was really amazing. And like, let me see, uh, I have some other notes. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, like, um, let me see. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, l- l- about Sean. Uh, I forgot, I forgot, uh, I forgot to elaborate on that. So basically it was the, it was the day that I got told that I'm going to be on the stunts team now, like welcome mm-hmm. to the stunts team, Joe. Um, and I was like, dude, I'm going to buy a wrap gift for all like the people that really got in my corner and helped me and supported me. <clears throat> and like, I'm going to get them a copy of way of the Cobra. <laughs> what a cool gift, you know? Like, yeah. um, and so um, they knew that I was doing my homework and they always saw me with this book as well. So, um, I ordered like 10 copies mm-hmm. and I'm, you know, filming some scenes, you know, setting up the cameras and all that. Then, you know, um, I get back to my phone and I get this email and it's from Sean Cannon and I'm like, no way. <laughs> and this, and he's such a gentleman and he's like, Hey man, um, Cause I had messaged him on, on Instagram. I was like, Hey, look, I just want to let you know. Um, like I'm not supposed to say anything, but like between us, I, I, I see that you're filming season five. Like I'm one of the new Cobras. Just want to let you know that I bought your book and um, it, I'm super excited to, to, you know, to use it, to approach this character. So he kind of like, we already kind of connected on that. So once I bought 10 copies, he was like, Oh, it's that guy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so he was like, you know what? And this has kind of been a theme um, in Cobra Kai. Um, like some of the OG Cobras, they they actually like kind of pick one of the newer Cobras to kind of, you know, just keep in touch with, you know, just keep in touch with any advice, whether it's acting, you know, like, um, you know, life, whatever, just, you know, hey, I'm, I'm a resource, you know, mm-hmm. and that that's so cool. That's so, so cool. So it really it does feel like a fraternity, you know, when you, when, when you think about it. And, um, so Sean was like, dude, you bought 10 copies. Why don't, um, we have dinner and I'll sign them all for whoever you want to give them to. And I was like, Oh my God, no way. This is surreal. This is such an incredible like experience that I'm having with Cobra Kai. I'm like, absolutely, man. Like whenever you're available, the day that we're both not filming, 
Um, there was like one random COVID test testing day. I think it was like a Thursday. So we just both needed to go in and get tested. Um, and then after like, you know, that night we started to have dinner, um, went, met him over at yard house, um, uh, and just got to know, you know, kind of got to know one another and like, uh, um, he asked, you know, about me and my life, asked about him and his life. And, you know, I'd already kind of been doing my research on him, you know, uh, and how, um, you know, he, he's got into acting and, and, you know, moved from Pennsylvania to California and all that. And, and, and so, um, you know, definitely somebody I look up to for sure. And to actually have like real communication with him. Um, and, uh, he has a great mentoring program as well uh, that he's begun. He's a, he's a life coach and, um, like, uh, like, I, I, I guess I would say motivational speaker, um, is through his, through the tools that he has brought out of, um, the way of the Cobra, he uses that, um, to help people in whatever aspect, not, it doesn't have to be just acting, it could be whatever aspect or, um, weight loss or whatever, you know, um, mental thing that you have. He is, um, it's so cool that he's, uh, opened himself up to be available like that. And, uh, so, um, yeah, way of the Cobra. So yeah, Sean, Sean is a great dude. If you see this, Sean, you're the man. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. Um, so, so this book is super important and, um, that's kind of how we connected is over, um, over the way of the Cobra. And, um, yeah, it, it was, it was, it was just so cool. It was so cool. So at the end I got, you know, Dustin and Kevin, all the guys and, uh, Craig had gotten me, I'll, I'll show you. He got me a Christmas gift. Uh, Craig the Cobra, he gave me this. Oh, awesome sick. Blanket. Yes. I love those colors. So, no. yeah, so I got him a signed copy of Way of the Cobra. Um, and uh, it was really cool, you know, like um, when I joined Cobra Kai, I really took it seriously. I really was like, all right, we're a family now. Well, for life. This Cobra hey, Kai for life. Cobra Kai for life. You look around. These are our brothers and sisters. <laughs> you know, like John Kreese said. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and like, uh, they're like, we're about it, you know? So, like, uh, so that Christmas, I decided to have a Cobra Kai Christmas party. And um, it was so cool. Like, um, everyone who's, like, that was in town that's, like, not main cast was there. Uh, and we did like a secret Santa and it was just, it was so much fun. And we got, we got to white, watch the, um, the Tyron Woodley fight, you know, it didn't go as we expect wanted it to, but yeah. it's okay. You know, but, you know, it fights a fight, you know, and it was a good one. So, um, like, uh, so yeah, man, um, a couple of things I wanted to share with you, um, that I have here when I did meet, uh, Sean, he's so cool, bro. He's yeah. the coolest dude. Look what he gave me, man. Look what he gave me. I framed it. Look what he gave me. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Let me put you here so everyone can see that. So that says, what does that say? To Joe. Says, so this is um basically a printout of, of the, you know, of his cover. <laughs> it's so it says cool. Karate's Bad Boy uh, Tournament, you know, Mike Barnes. And then it goes, to Joe, your karate's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is sick. Yeah, that's the magazine from Karate Kid 3 yes oh um, that is so cool and uh i definitely want you to know that like i i i was watching karate kid 3 a lot like probably every other day um yes sir. just studying it because i knew that that's where um we were drawing the inspiration from this season um so it's like you know little things little things like uh um okay would i be able to have an earring on in the dojo well Terry Silver trains with an earring uh, and, and his home dojo mm. and the real dojo. So he wouldn't have a problem with like, he wouldn't be one of those types of senseis, you know? So you yeah. kind of like um, start to like um, think about, you know, little things like that. And then uh, um, what's it called? Another one was really cool. was like, like, uh, so sometimes we go, um, it's, uh, it's Kia. It's Kia. If someone is leading, right? Yeah. Um, and we had been doing some like uh, just Kia with uh, being led by like uh, our sensei. Um, and sometimes they would say Kia, and then we would Kia. Um, 
but um or they or we would say ites you know mm -hmm. um and it'd be like ites ites and so but there was like one time where like uh um they had brought in some extra people because they really wanted the, the dojo to look a lot fuller mm -hmm. um and kind of didn't know what was going on and then um you know sometimes not everyone's always paying attention but i was like i was like studying it i was like studying it so i was like um i was like yo uh sensei silver is gonna say ice we're gonna say kia they're like oh and someone's like oh but we say ice sometimes i'm like yeah i know but like that's um that's usually when we're like in a line uh just a single line um because it would be like potentially we're like all team captains or like or we're like you know gearing to be leaders mm -hmm. is why we would say ites um and so like uh i was like yeah no he's gonna say ites we're gonna say kia mm -hmm. and some people were like i don't know i don't know i think it's i think it's uh mm -hmm. ites i think it's ites and i'm like it's kia okay i i okay and then and then uh thomas ian griffith uh comes, comes oh my god around and they're like okay so what are they gonna say they say ites or He's like, no, I'm going to say ice. They're going to say Kia. I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I know. I know. You I did do. my homework. You did your homework. <laughs> yeah. Um, so a couple things I wanted to show you other than the the picture was um, uh, I got a little couple, you know, I got, I got, I got some props. Not, not too many. I didn't steal them. I got permission. Okay. Yeah. Passing. This oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dojo oh, my God. Time. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think I've ever seen this like whole. Wait, this is the actual one, like handed out on set. Yeah, this is the one that we were like, you know, hey, hey, um, you know, like you, you'll see me for like a split second before they clip to Dude. um, Dallas handing them out. Like we're all just like promoting the grand opening for the for That's the so dojo, cool. and the, so this is what they would have like sent you in the mail. Okay, wait, can I can I can I read like the like the whole thing? Wait, no, wait, yeah, wait, totally, wait, totally. Okay, Cobra Kai now open. Join our championship dojo. Stop by any of our new value locations. Um, no post is necessary if mailed in the United States. So, okay. So is that like supposed to be like where you write your name? Um, so like, uh, this probably would be like where they put the address and stuff. Yeah. Like your name and address to mail it. Cause it's a sticker. So uh, like, okay. so in the, in the Miyagi verse, <laughs> we were, we were all about the, the marketing. We were all That's about so the marketing. Cool. We were getting this in every single mailbox. <laughs> the merch, the stickers. Kids love stickers, you know? So, I love yeah, stickers. It was a sticker, so they were like, yeah, it's fine. You can, you can keep it. Just do not post it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do not post it until, you know, things have come out. And then um, yeah. one of the coolest things was when I first got there, you know, everybody knew I was such a big Johnny fan. I'm just like, just, Johnny's the man, Hell you know? Yeah. So they're like, uh, Joe, did you know that he hands out headbands at the end of each season? I'm like, what? Mm. I could get a headband from Johnny Lawrence. That'll make my life, right? They're like, dude, he does it every season. Oh my God. He's definitely oh. going to do it again this season, right? So, you know, I would see him here and there and I'd be like, eh, should I ask him about the headbands? Should I? No, nah, I don't want to wait. I don't want to bother him. I don't want to bother him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we're filming the post fight, you know, where Johnny and Yuji and Sean, they all show up in the limo. Outside <laughs> yeah, yeah. The it was freezing that night, by the way. Freezing. Bro. It looked cold. It looked it was cold. So cold. It was so cold. And like um, so uh it was it was really fun filming that though. Uh it was an overnight and like we had shot a portion of the night in the dojo. So we showed up in our geese. And then once we got there, cause they're just timing. They're like, there's no time for you to change at this sound stage. We got, we, we need you guys already to shuttle over. Uh, you guys are going to change over at the, you know, holding over on the Cobra Kai dojo set uh, of the outside. Right. So yeah, it's not at the same place. It's not yeah. the same place, right? It's yeah. not the same sound stage. There's yeah. two studios that we use mm -hmm. one for the outside of Cobra Kai and one for the inside of Cobra Kai. Mm -hmm. So, um, um we're outside and you know the night's carrying on i think it was like a two day overnight if i'm not mistaken but it was like in the middle of the night we're getting close to wrapping the night all of a sudden william zap who's got a big bag 
starts passing out these. Oh my God. Oh my. I'm like, and I see he passes, he passes out, you know, a couple. And I'm like, you know, I, I give him a like, <laughs> and, go, oh, yeah. and he's like, here you go. And he gives me it, man. It's so cool. Oh, let me see um, this. Apparently his brother has a company, um, does like screen printing and like, oh, uh, shank. Um, and, and like uh, designs and stuff like that. Uh, so basically what the, he's got different themes for each, uh, headband. If you do another a, uh, AJ interview, ask him because him and, um, him and Craig are the only two Cobras that have every single headband. Wow. You know, every season. Wow. So, um, like, um, <clears throat> so it's the black on this side and the white on this side. Do you, oh, do you know so what that's cool. for? Like the like Cobra Kai, Miyagi Do, white and dark. Yin Yang, bro. Oh, Yin Yang, Yin Yang. It's the Yin and the Yang. The it's the, the light yang. and the dark coming together. Yeah. To form, you know, like um, the balance. Like, uh, Miyagi Fang and um uh, and like uh versus Cobra Kai, you know. So like um that's what the theme was. Mm. Like uh that's what um William told us. He's like since it's like the bad and the good are working together. Um, he made it like a Yin Yang theme this time. So wow. I <laughs> that is so cool. Oh my god. And then this is like I didn't I didn't get permission to get this, but it kind of fell into my hands. Oh my I god. Swear. I'm excited. I swear if any if anybody's watching on production, I swear I <laughs> did this. I promise you. So once we did finish filming Cobra Kai, um, a lot of the props and stuff, they, they have to end up getting trashed, right? So there are other productions that that rent out that sound space simultaneously as they're cleaning out, another crew is setting up. So I had a friend that was on the last production. I was working on like Teen Wolf movie. Mm -hmm. um, I was standing in over there and like doing some, you know, like uh, PA work and, and you know, become super cool with the crew. You know, we spent all day together. So, you know, like eventually I'm wearing my Cobra Kai stuff around, you know, around, you know, I got to rep the gang, you know? So, um, like I'm wearing my Cobra Kai stuff and like this dude's like, oh dude, uh, I worked on this show that, um, right at that they worked on the sound stages that Cobra Kai had right after they finished filming. I was like, you're kidding. He's like, dude, they threw out so much stuff. I'm like, you're kidding. You're kidding, bro. I wanted it all, right? They're like, dude, they had a huge glass cobra, like the one that like Terry Silver uh, crashes into. But like they had that in the dumpster. Um, Wait, you know, like pieces of it? This pieces of it? Stuff. Like pieces of it or the whole thing? The whole thing. Because like basically we removed that and then, you know, movie magic, we put sugar glass. Oh, so uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah actual, you know, you don't want it to get sliced. Oh, no. You know? They threw that out? So they threw it out. Why would you throw man. that out? Right? I was like, I wanted it. Don't... I would have made a Cobra Kai fountain in my house. Oh my you know? God. So, but I mean, it's, it's, I guess what they got to do with like some certain, certain things that I guess that, you know, if nobody claims it, no, I'll they claim it. doesn't want it. I'll or, claim it. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> so I got, some, I got some friends, you know, I got some friends out there looking out for the, and some trash cans for after season six. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. Uh, let me know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you and me will go we'll go dumpster diving together, bro. Uh, I'm so down. <laughs> um, so like one of my friends was like, dude, I have Johnny Lawrence's trophy. I was he's an electrician. He he does lighting on, you know, on so he was a lighting technician on one show and he's just, you know, he's leaving his day for for that, you know, uh set uh and uh he's leaving set for that day and like he sees like all these trophies outside of the outside of the um outside of the freaking dumpster and he's like and he goes over and some of the other guys that are working on the on the, on the production with him they're like dude these are the these are the karate kid trophies man look I mean, there's a couple of them and he's like dude i'm gonna take them they're like bro take them oh my God. um so he's like dude i have johnny lawrence's like first place trophy and i have his second place trophy i was like you're kidding I was like, you're kidding. He's like, no, man. I was like, 
you got any more trophies? He's like, actually, I have like a, a few like small little trophies that say uh, all Valley karate champion third place. If you want it, it's like little though. I'm like, bro, I don't care how little this I want it, man. So you know what? Jason is also no a third, way. Third time oh my God. So it's good Dude. to have friends, you know, in the industry in different productions as well, because you never know what they'll come up on. Oh, so, that's so cool. Wait, wait, did Johnny that that was Johnny's? Didn't I don't think he ever got third place though. No, nah, this is just random. Cause like if you take a look uh, at the Cobra Kai wall, there's like different martial artists um like th that have won championships with cobra kai on the yeah, wall yeah yeah so, so it could have been anyone from cobra kai it could have been anybody that's well, we, no, it's mine bro was that from the first season yeah. um or the the i don't know or was it it could be because i remember in the first season like do you remember the first the, the, the oh, that's so cool wait let me let me put it full screen to show everybody all valley karate championship tournament third place and oh my god so cool you know what we gotta do? We gotta we gotta make a custom trophy for Zapka and have the him kicking a urinal and make it into a trophy. <laughs> Dude, that is epic. That is so epic. <laughs> if anybody knows a trophy making guy, please make it happen. We'll send it out to Joe and Joe will get it to Zapka. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll deliver it to him personally. Oh my God. That is so cool. Um, I love those, those props, those memorabilia is like, as a fan, I'm, I'm like freaking out right now. I'm sure everyone out there watching is freaking out too. Yeah. It, it's so cool. It's so, it's really so cool. And like, um, um, uh, like it, it's re it's really, um, it's the biggest blessing, like to be part of Cobra Kai. And it's, Ever since I joined Cobra Kai, like on different sets, you know, like you get a little bit of elevated treatment, even on the set, like that you're not on just like, oh, dude, yeah, that's one of the Cobras. That's one of the guys on Cobra Kai, you know, and, you know, people are more kind of eager to want to work with you because they know that you're serious about acting. They know that you're, you know, that you're trained and, and, um, and it, it's, it's, it was really, really, um, the coolest thing that's ever happened to me, you know, like my, my father, when he was alive, he got to see me like you know, totally kick ass. And like, um, you know, that helped a lot with closure and stuff like mm. that, you know, um, as like, you know, you know, we spoke a little bit, um, about putting yourself in the right mindset. Um, we didn't necessarily say the words mental health, but, um, like, yeah, mental health aspect, you know, like, um, Cobra Kai has helped me get closure because, my dad got to see me do something great, you know, uh, and like, uh, and so like, um, martial arts and, and, um, uh, you know, just staying active through, through, uh, martial arts has definitely helped, um, you know, uh, ease the mind, you know, whenever it feels like, oh, I feel restless or something, or, or maybe even anxious, you know, like I can go back to, um, the gym, but, um, not just gym for working out, like, Okay, okay, I'm done with the weights. I'm going to go to the bag and I'm going to I'm going to work on my kicks. I'm going to work on uh, my form and and um and the discipline that it takes to just, you know, continue to slowly progress and progress and um so uh yeah, so martial arts has definitely helped a lot with uh with the mental health uh me mental health uh, aspect of of life. Um and uh, it's so cool that I got to do that through Cobra Kai. Yeah, that that's absolutely amazing. I I love your story and everything that you've described. Your whole journey is truly inspiring and just it's it, it's so cool. And I I do want to ask you. Um, they did announce that uh, season six would be the last season. So, I mean, I know I I want to know like your thoughts on that and also like what it would mean for you to be back for it and to be a part of that. Not just the sixth season, but the final season of Cobra Kai man um you know like I, season six has been announced so I, I I can say that and I you know it looks like we're going to be going towards the Sekai Tekai tournament um not been you know N nothing official you know hey the story could completely go in another direction if if the big three wanted to yeah um but you know, 
uh, gearing up for uh, a world stage. Um, I think, you know, these, uh, the big three, um, these guys, they have um, a huge, huge um, a surprise waiting for us. Um, I will say like, man, there are juice, like when all is said and done and I'm able to say certain things, there are scenes, there are scenes that we filmed that are super iconic and juicy and oh my God, I wish I could tell you about it. Um, that happened that we filmed that I'm directly in the background in, and it's an iconic moment and it is a story carrier and it was not in season five. Like we filmed it. We got all the angles of it. It was awesome. Unbelievable. I don't know if they're going to use that in the beginning of season six. Oh, um, oh. but, or if they're just going to scrap that concept altogether. I can't say anything about it, mm. but I will say that like these guys, they always uh, have something up their sleeve. Like just when you think the story is like mellowing out, <laughs> they hit you over the head with something, you know? Yeah. So, um, so I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, um, season six play out, you know, um, <clears throat> kind of excited to see who's going to, you know, take the reins of, um, being our sensei. I mean, I was a speculation. Silver's got some really great lawyers. Mm -hmm. He has some really expensive, uh, you know, uh, elite <laughs> class lawyers. Yeah. So he might be able to get away with, you know, uh, doing some community service, <laughs> you know? picking up trash um, off the floor to, to shave his jail time or something. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that would be something that would be a scene just terry silver just picking trash on the side of the highway just getting so angry and just like I will just fuming about plotting his his ultimate revenge i love it oh man uh uh what's it called uh but yeah we're you know we're, we're, we're speculation you know kim kim day young still has uh some ownership um I, I don't know if Sean, uh, if um, what's it called? Mike. Uh, Mike Barnes has ownership. I don't, I don't know if he does any, cause he still has to find the contract. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, so we'll see if he has any involvement. It would be dope if they turned him into a bad guy oh, and, and just cool. flip script and like wild man. And he wants to take over Cobra Kai. That would be so cool. Cause he was, you know, he, he got into the wild mentality of like, no, I'm going to do this, you know, like <laughs> and he just steals the limo, you know? And so like, it would be cool to see, uh, to see him, um, like do that, uh, do that role kind of like, uh, just, you know, not take, uh, no for an answer and him yeah. and him owning Cobra Kai. He just kind of like, uh, crease did to Johnny, you know, that would be cool. Uh, that would be very cool, <laughs> but uh, we don't know. I have no idea who who her, our sensei is going to be or how it's going to be like um, like getting the group back because uh, like you know it was it was our summer and this is how we were explained. It was it's summer before your senior year. That's what this season was. It was the summer before our senior year. We're going to the water park. You know, um, you know, Miguel's going off and he has the time to go to Mexico real quick. <laughs> You know, um, and so this is the summer before our senior year. And, you know, so usually with with any, you know, uh, big uh, high school story and it's your senior year, there's always a lot of emphasis on um, the crazy things that happen. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to I'm excited to, to to, you know, rejoin everybody and my and keep on going, man. Like it has been so cool. Like it, it really does mean the world to me. Um, I can't wait to see myself um, with my peers, um, you know, in high school in our Cobra Kai gear, just like all like being dicks, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and like, um, yeah. yeah. So, uh, so yeah, like um, the way that my character, I feel like um, he, he, uh, I feel like my character is a character who came in, uh, he changed high schools, came in halfway, 
right? Kind of over the summer, um, you know, maybe before the the last year's end, kind of started seeing who the cool kids were. There was a big commotion during prom. So naturally he's a badass guy and he wanted to gravitate towards these kids that were causing trouble. So I became friends. I, I interact heavily with AJ. So I like to say that AJ brought me into Cobra Kai, you know, saw that I was probably a football player, a baseball player, you know, someone that's athletic and, um, and that could translate easily as well as somebody who was a dick and could, you know, could take on that persona. So uh, if I was friends with AJ and he's a dick, I'll, I'm probably a dick too, you know? So, yeah. um, and so like, uh, I would interact with him a lot and you know um even if it wasn't necessarily seen on screen like when robbie comes into the dojo to tell us that silver's lying to all of us i'll i'll be like you know i'll i'll I tapped aj and i was like you know pantomime like is that the kid like is that the kid that y'all y'all were mm. talking about because i don't know him you know yeah. I, I don't know him like that y'all know him like that um so i'm just just tell me who to beat up you know yeah <laughs> you know? yeah oh, that's that's a cool detail so, so yeah it would mean uh it would mean so much to to return um to to uh cobra kai season six and um continue to elevate the dojo and um and you know fight those miyagi does <laughs> oh, like uh you know we got to see the tear down of the Miyagi Do, <laughs> as you know, things were coming to an end with season five, uh, and I was like, a part of me was like, man, I wish I could join the construction team just for a day, just so I could be like, ah, oh, Miyagi Do, take that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, 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 lo I love uh, Miyagi Do, and, like <laughs> what they got going on and, and the whole world. I, I love it all. But it's, Cobra Kai is better. <laughs> It's particularly fun playing a Cobra though. It is, it is being, you know, it, it is uh, nice uh, being, being on the, the bad guy squad. Yeah. Look at that merch. merch. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Miyagi though is nice at all, but you're not getting that cool, badass merch at Miyagi though. Let's be honest. Yeah. We got the juice bar and the chicks. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, I, I love it. And Joe, I just want to thank you so much for, for joining me and, um, sharing your story, um, with everybody. I, I honestly, it, to see your story, I feel like the, the message behind it is like hard work pays off and you know, dreams come true. And if you really put your mind to something like you are a fan of the show, you know, and not only did you join the show, but you worked hard to put yourself in a position where you join the stunt team, where you built a relationship with all of these cast members, including Sean Kane and inviting you out to dinner. Like you did that for yourself. So like props, props to you for, for doing that. And I feel like it, it's a very inspirational um, message out there for people to just work hard and follow your dreams and hard work pays off. I love it. So thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, it's like, uh, I heard this one quote from like Jim Carrey and he's like, look, you want to do something, ask the universe. If you want to be an actor, got to tell the universe. He's like, look at me, dude. I'm just a guy. I'm proof that you can do this. And I was like, let me try. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Try, you know? so, so Jim Carrey is the one story. to thank for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shout, shout out Jim Carrey. Shout out Jim Carrey. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, thank you so much for having me on. You know, I really um, have been wanting to share these incredible stories of of what, you know, the cast is really like and like, you know, um, you know, what what it takes to, you know, to separate yourself and kind of elevate yourself, um, you know, in life and also like what it takes to like what they were looking for when they were trying to pick their new Cobras, you know, like what was going through my head and um what was you know what were certain things that they were looking for um i i hope i was able to shed like some light on the whole process because you know um you know in, in the beginning it was just like like aj you know they just they had a plan for him they saw him they had a plan for him and it was um similar but um it was it was more they were just starting off then so it was like um you know they they had um they had to build the foundation and 
they had such a rich foundation. It's like they don't want to poison it. So they got to be super selective on on who they're going to add. And I'm just super thankful to uh, Dustin, Kevin, Proby, everyone, Suko, uh, Jenny B. Goods, um, Stitch, uh, uh, Curdy Photog, all the people, all the people that, that, that um, you know, were um, – that took me on like a family, like, uh, dude, it, it was a huge blessing to have. And like, yeah, we are real friends in real life. We do show up to parties as like a Cobra unit sometimes, you know, and it is, it is really cool. It is in, really in, cool. In a, in a quiver. You guys show up in a quiver. We show up in a quiver. We show up in a quiver. <laughs> My man dude. um, no, thank you so much for having me. And, you know, uh, you know, definitely, you know, want to have some uh, more interviews with you in the future. And you, hey, you let me know when you're in Atlanta and I'll show you the best Southern food you've ever <laughs> had. Best fried chicken sandwich mm, ever. I do love fried chicken sandwiches. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Yeah, we, I definitely want to keep in touch with you. You were so awesome. It was so great talking to you. And um, for everyone out there, is there any other projects that you're working on how can they follow you social media oh totally um so i, I just generally work in you know the, the film industry whether um you know i have a cool role like uh you know like cobra kai or stranger things um um uh, i uh what's it called like I just try to always stay on set. So like I have, you know, I'm working on some projects right now. I'm actually standing in for my favorite actor ever. Uh, like not ever, ever, but like, yeah, yeah top three, top yeah, three yeah. for sure. Um, it's the guy who plays Zach Morris on Saved by the Bell. His name is Mark Paul Gosler. So cool. I'm standing in for him and it's, it's really, really uh, amazing because I'm able to like study his, his acting and mannerisms and like go watch him go through the different beats and like firsthand. So it's like, the best masterclass. Um, so I'm working on that right now. But as far as getting in front of um, the camera, I um, kind of just waiting for uh, waiting for um, another opportunity to get on this. Uh, there's this uh, Francis Ford Coppola movie coming out called Megalopolis that um, that you can see. You'll see me in the background and running around. Oh my my God. hair is completely different than than it is on Cobra Kai, but um, it's me. <laughs> still you <laughs> so yeah I'm, i've been working on that here and there and um and then just you know waiting for um for when cobra kai starts up again just you know getting myself in prime karate shape and um and then you know stranger things as well keep keeping keeping the hair flowing for you know for the for the 80s <laughs> yeah so yeah you can see me on that um guys definitely hit that follow it's on Instagram. It's underscore Joe Suarez underscore because uh, I'm on stage, you know, I'm on stage. So that's why it's like the underscores. Ah, you know? uh, yeah. got you, got you. Are, are you are you on Instagram? Are you just on Instagram or is there anywhere? Yeah, else? pretty much just on Instagram right now. Um, like, you know, maybe maybe I'll, uh, you know, get on TikTok uh once season six you know starts and like or comes out and i'll come out with like some cool behind the scenes TikToks yeah. and stuff like that um i do have some some cool photos and stuff like that that uh um i haven't shared yet that i'll, I'll probably you know if you guys hit the follow back or you guys hit the follow then you already know i'm going to be posting uh some more cobra kai content and um uh, and yeah you know thank you so much uh drew dude uh definitely keep in touch man um you know, check in, uh, and whenever you're in Atlanta, man, we'll, we'll definitely grab some dinner, man. And, uh, we can, uh, go around town to some of the, the spots that, uh, we filmed a uh, Cobra Kai at, man. And uh, yeah. so you can see some of the, our locations. Yeah, dude, I would love to, that would be so awesome. I 100% will let you know if that happens, when it happens, um and yeah this this was awesome so thank you so much to you thank you everyone for listening and uh if you donated to saint jude thank you for supporting you. you still can donate by clicking the blue donate button below this interview we really appreciate you for joining and we'll see you next time on cobra kai kid and until then remember cobra kai never dies <laughs> Ice. Ice. <laughs>